What's up, everybody? It's your boy L Slack, and you're watching the Vulgar Uplander. What's going on today? We're on the road to the coast for work, as I do on the Sundays. It's a football Sunday in America. I'm very excited about that. Hopefully, my Cowboys redeem themselves after last week's abysmal performance. But we'll see. We'll see. I got my my jersey in my bag just in case. I gotta represent. Uh, anyway, yeah, I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I don't got too much to report on today, but I wanna just wanna check in about some some stuff. Um, I've been picking up a few of the Dallas, well, the Cowboys. Uh, yeah, Dallas Cowboys. I guess can't use the term Cowboys, but the Dallas Cowboys um, essentials packs from Arlington Stadium, as it says in the game. Uh, that's been going fine. I've just been hanging out here in Arlington, uh, so that way I can just go pick up packs whenever I feel inclined to do so. So we're slowly building up the team and collection so really only focusing on the Cowboys right now once that feels good then maybe I'll go check out some of the other ones but Cowboys where's that for me so anywho that's uh that's that let's take a look at some of these some of these little fuckers shall we of course we're doing that while I drive because that's the kind of irresponsible piece of shit that I am got this fucking rattling in my car somewhere. I don't know where it's at, but it is driving me insane. I feel like it's inside my dash or something. It's fucking annoying. Super annoying. Alright. Anyway. Um, NFLP legits. I still got this uh, week three New Orleans pass. So... It's in my shop. It's an 80s special. If uh, if you are interested in that, let's see here. And then basically almost all of these are Dallas Cowboys ones. I don't think it lets me. It doesn't give me the option to filter by 2024 for some reason. It does 2020, 2022, 2021, and 2023, but no. No, 2024 <coughs> for some stupid reason. Anyway, I think I know which ones are the 2024. The jersey's look a little bit different. Um, this Brandon Aubrey one, I love that. The kicker, it's the kicker. Another a Brandon Aubrey helmet. Um, what else we got here? What else? We got this Cooper Rush helmet. Oh, no, Cooper Rush jersey, I should say. God, that rattling. Hopefully you guys can't hear that rattling because it's really obnoxious. Uh, another Cooper Rush jersey. This one's a little bit different. Well, actually, that one, the other one's 2023. This one's 2024. So you can see the difference between the two. I actually really like the 2024 version. Let's see, let's see, let's see what else we got in here. Yeah. All the bumpy roads does not help me for fucking scrolling here. Harold Landry the third. That's a Tennessee one. We don't give a fuck about Tennessee. Um let's see what else. Oh we got this Matt. Oh, it's hard to read. Wallet Tesco, I I don't know how to say his name. Got a helmet of him too. Let's see. Rico Dowdle. Running back number twenty-three. Got his jersey. I like that jersey too. 
Um, Terrence Steele jersey. Uh, Trent Sieg at number 44, my favorite number. Um, that's my old Trey Lance. I got a Dak Prescott one. I don't, know, I don't know how I missed it, but whatever. Got some, got some jerseys. Got some helmets. I'd really like to get a uh, memento for the Cowboys, but I might have to just go purchase that myself or something. So, um, I did want to talk about my uh, trackside competition. I've been debating how I'm going to handle this, being that the racing has been kind of funky. What I think I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to call it at the end of the month. So October 1st, um, it will be over. So you have until October 1st to get your races in, try to post your best time on the, the Vulgar Speedway, and then uh, I'll start doing all the drawings and giveaways and shit around uh, around the first, but it will be the, the first will be the cutoff day. So um, there's only so much I can do, and I don't want to just keep stalling. So um, it will be what it will be, and we'll have to just move forward from there. So um, yeah, so I got some some racing legits. I'm gonna have uh, two go karts to give away, and I'm gonna have that 200 sparklet. I'm gonna give away. So just be ready for that. Get your get your entries in. So and if you don't remember how to do that, uh, go over to Metaverse Millen's uh, Discord, and you will find uh, the Vulgar Speedway uh, channel, Vulgar Speedway channel, in there, uh, and that's where I posted the details uh, for this competition. I put it there a while back, so go check it out. Uh, what else? We got some neighborhood ratings stuff coming out, some competitions. Granada Hills is not ready to, uh, to compete yet, but we are slowly making our way up, up the charts ever so, ever so slowly. I do have some properties in Evergreen Lasher, which I'm going to start. Well, I've already been my part to help out. I got some, I completed a build over there. I sent over some map assets. I need to send over some more map assets. Um, I might try to go open up a meta venture in one of them. Uh, what else? Um, I might, not I might, I, I'm going to temporarily um, put my home residence there help out. I would like to get one more property. I have two. I want three. Um, so that way if it does become a collection, at least I can claim the collection. But um, yeah, I'm slowly working on that. I need to I need to figure that out. If anybody wants to um, sell me one for a reasonable price or uh, trade one for a Granada Hills property, um, I'll do a little bit of a lopsided trade on that if need be. So let me know if uh, if you got some options there, and I will I will gladly um, you know, take you up on a, an offer if it makes sense. So I got a little bit of upix I haven't spent yet because I haven't been in Granada Hills uh, to go mint another property. I've been sitting in Arlington, so um, hell, you never know. I might just blow it all on. Uh, Dallas Cowboys Central. I, I don't know yet. Uh, what is? The, do they have anything in the store? Any sales in the store for Cowboys or for NFL PS stuff? For Upix? No, nah, just the mixed one. I could go buy a starter bundle, but I ain't gonna. Not right now, at least. Not right now, at least. Oh, so yeah. So I'm gonna make my way over to Evergreen Lasher and. Uh, do what I can on the two properties I have and like I said if I get one more um, I will go start a, uh, a build over there and like I said put whatever I can put on there and whatever other 
sparks that I have available, I'll go throw on some some productions that are happening over there. Uh, I'll go stake it on a building or two to see if I can help people move their shit. I don't have a lot of sparkly, but you know, every little bit counts, right? Um, yeah, so that's that's kind of my move right now. Nothing too terribly exciting. I saw they have these. Well, let me go back into the shop here. They got these sales. So they don't have. I don't get the fuck out of here. I don't really have any interest in, but uh, the elusive property, the prestigious bundle and the master bundle. I mean, they sound cool. Like if I, if I was able to get one of those sick properties in there, but I don't have the luck for that. So for me, it would probably just be like a waste of money. So the, uh, the juice is not worth the squeeze, if you know what I mean. So fuck that. But I do enjoy me fucking around with some, uh, NFL PA stuff. As you can imagine, I will be on uh, Team Cowboys. I don't know how Team Cowboys are looking right now. Last time I looked, it looked like Tampa Bay was kind of leading the pack as far as um, the most points on that leaderboard. But Cowboys aren't far behind. So, well, I think kind of everybody's kind of far behind. There's a big gap there. But um, I want to say the Cowboys are like third or fourth. I could be wrong on that, but... Ah, fucking yawns. Those are the worst. Um, but anyway, yep, so whether I want to or not, it's, I don't have uh, the time or energy to uh, to try to buy a bunch of other fucking team shit. So I'm just going to stick with the Cowboys and stake my shit in New Orleans. I got... Uh, I had New Orleans properties a while back, but I ended up selling them a long time ago. Um, in hindsight, that sucks, but you know, it is what it is. I made a profit on the property, so that was a, a net victory. So I went and bought another one, um, and I started to build on it, and I will just continue staking fucking sparkle over there as well. So I got a couple, I got a couple things. I got Evergreen Lash I need to focus on. I got uh, New Orleans I need to focus on a little bit. And then of course, Granada Hills. Can't forget about my, my Granada Hills. So let's check out all the builds I got going on right now at the moment. I started building a factory the other day. Just for shits because I said, fuck it. I need another factory if I want to make like structural ornaments or something down the road or even produce more uh, map assets. Cause this one, I built a, a building a medium sized factory this time in Granada Hills. So assets, oh wait, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Right down here. So I got a couple, I got a ranch house. Those ones I'm just sitting on for the moment and I'll build those up um, next season. So they're just there as a placeholder. I got a couple more I gotta do that too as well because I gotta try to get five builds done. I'm sure that's gonna be another task to do next season. So I'll be doing that, but I got uh this property in Queens. I think this one's almost done. Oh yeah, we're getting close. Ooh, one day, eight hours. So this one will be done. Uh, you know, tomorrow at some point. So that'll be exciting. And then I can take that little bit of spark that I have on there. I I got some help on this one, which is really nice. So. I'll move that, that sparkling over elsewhere. Um, here's my medium showroom that I put. I didn't even remember I built a showroom. Oh wait, no, I'm not. This was just one I'm staking on. I think this is Swarley's. This is Swarley's, yeah. So I'm staking on one of his. I'm gonna 
much do I have on that one? I don't even remember. Um, probably not much, probably just the minimum. Um, that's not set. About 400. So I could probably move that at some point, but I'm gonna, I'll keep it on there for now. And then, what's this one? Oh yeah, this is the property in New Orleans. I got a small townhouse. How much do I got on that one? I don't remember. Um, 3,000, that'll be done in nine days. So that's not too far from now. <clears throat> So, I mean, I gotta just keep staking on it, whatever, because it's gotta go all season. I gotta get them points, you feel? So anyway, so nine days, that one will be done. And then the last one that I did, this is the shirt corner of my factory. Oh wait, this one's actually not in Granada Hills, just outside of Granada Hills. Um, Cause I couldn't find one, I think, originally. That was big enough that I could afford in Granada Hill, so I went with this one. Just outside. Just outside. Um, but it's just another factory. Got gotta have factories. So this one's got 75 days. I'm not in any hurry necessarily for this one, but I will probably move sparkles off that one <clears throat> at some point. Just to allocate it elsewhere. Like I said, I'm not in any hurry for this this build. Oh man, I'm chewing on this gum and one of the flavor crystals is lodged down my throat. It is. It's burning. It's just light it up in there. That's gnarly. It tastes good though. It's real good. But anyway, yeah, so I got some builds. They're doing their things. I'd be building Evergreen last year, but I already have the two properties I have already have buildings on them, so that does mean no good at the moment. So I'll just be putting some uh, structural structural ornaments on them, and then, like I said, I might I might turn one of them into a, a med adventure. I'll just gotta look and see what that what one I'm gonna build. I should probably build like. A, Was it? What is there? I think I might have. I might adventure everything that I that I can at the moment. I need a showroom for a car one. Uh, I need a showroom for a structural ornament one. And I should probably look at getting a couple more showrooms because I got my my map asset one. And if I want to sell go-karts ever or something or regular cars I think I have enough now um, I should probably if I get that figured out anyway um yeah I think that's it for now uh, like I said if you got something in Evergreen last year you want to part ways with let me know we'll work out a deal uh, everything else uh, just like I said check out the well, check out the Metaverse Millen stream. Not stream. God, I'm all over the fucking place. I'm tired. I'm driving. Chewing gum is burning my throat. Ugh. Sorry, this is just a just a fucked off little little thing. I should I should be better by now, you would think, but apparently not. Um, go check out Metaverse Millen's. Discord channel, and on there you're gonna see. Um, well, it's a Discord server, and then you're gonna see a channel on that server that you can get the information about the racetrack stuff. Um, and just know that I'm gonna push that up to the first October 1st will be the cutoff date, and that's when I will start uh, looking to do a giveaway for all the things. So, um, everything else. I can't remember, so we're just going to move on. I'm going to end this video before I make it any worse. So, 
Uh, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. Uh, check us tomorrow night on the Neutral Zone. Uh, Squarely and myself, we'll do a deeper dive into probably all of the bullshit. So, um, yeah, until then, I will check you guys later. Peace.